And we are opening on January 5th for all students TK through 12, 12th grade who wish to have a hybrid program. And of course, at the same time, we will still provide the option of an effective remote program. If you choose, if your parents um, choose it's unsafe for you to come to school, um, you will stay home and you will be a remote learner, just like what we've done since March. Um, if your parents say, hey, we're making the decision, we're gonna, you're going to go back to school, great. So then essentially you will be on an AABB schedule. Um, on Monday, we're fully remote. And then Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, will be all block. So essentially what happens is that we'll be, uh, we're only going to see kids twice a week, which I think is one of the things that we're like, mm. you know, like we, we thrive off of seeing our kids and working with our kids. So I think that's going to be a challenge. Uh, we're going to lose one more day of like person person contact. because language rooms are so interactive and I feel like all of my department has worked really hard to try to make our Zoom classes kind of like small communities. I feel like we're finally getting to know each other. We can use breakout rooms really effectively. I feel like it's going to make running our language classrooms a lot harder versus easier um, and I'm worried about being able to continue doing all of the awesome things we've been doing so far. Uh, with English 11, I don't know how that's gonna work because uh, we essentially like I'm so far like we're slated to teach Gatsby uh, quarter three but a lot of teachers already taught Gatsby so my students would not ever get Gatsby like English 11 we're really close as a team and we would love to all like be able to teach the same things over and over again but we can't because there's not enough books um, so that's definitely a concern of mine. Then, yeah, I mean, just the time we're in class is going to have to be, like, is really valuable because that's the time we're together. And so then they'll, unfortunately, I feel like there's going to be a lot more, like, packet work. Then other things are just going to have to, like, be cut. Like, I'll probably, you know, have to cut another novel from AP Lit, which we've already cut, like, two. You know, it's better for their social, emotional health or their learning, but... To me, that's sort of like this unproven assumption that things will be better, but like, I don't, if kids can't really talk to each other or sit together or work or collaborate in a meaningful way when they're physically in class, like, I don't know where that benefit's going to come from. I feel that if, if people are in a place that they have to go back to work, and now they don't feel safe, it's, it's just really gonna be hard. They're having to pick between their health and their, their like you have to pay the bills. So yeah. it's just a hard dilemma. Like I know in our situation, if I have to go back to work, my parents have been watching my son for me, but now because both of my parents are high risk, you know, my dad's almost 70 and has asthma, they can't watch my baby anymore because now I'm going to be someone that has been exposed to many people that will likely be in contact with the virus. So now I have to figure out child care for my son. Um, so I think everyone has a situation at home that is very different. So I think choice would be wonderful just because just like with our students, we don't know everyone is going through something different. So choice would be wonderful. every day.